Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain 2, episode 4 of I Cut Super Planet. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hopefully, I can get this out today. I want that teddy bear like so bad. Oh my god. The last time I wanted something super duper bad from this series was the Angelie Sugar Bear. And oh my god, I still want it because it's so cute. Honestly, I cannot wait until Mao's little older brother finds out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't think anyone's gonna find out just yet give it about like maybe episode 20 i don't even know how many episodes they're gonna actually do for this show because it it's still technically a live action series slash anime and i was guessing they were gonna make it like 50 just like the original aikatsu series but who knows Girls are so cute. Something tells me next week she already is going to make her appearance. And if it's true, your girl's going to be so happy. Because, you know, we're just waiting for her. Like, oh my god. It's like Kotaha all over again for my country stars. And how your girl, oh my god, when that show was airing at the time. And I was like, I need her to be an idol and sing and be CGI. And, you know, they only really gave it to her for like two episodes. One, technically, I, I say one because the first time it was more of a 2D performance. And since Aikatsu is really known for CGI and 3D performances, of course. But yeah. So you can already tell that Kyoko is my best girl, right? <laughs> Excuse me? Hana? 
Oh god. How? <laughs> I don't think it'll be the end of the world though, but... <laughs> Well, I think maybe for Kyoko, she wants to put it on the down low until, you know, she's like, hey, tell everybody. Everybody needs to know. You know, she has really good leadership skills. Oh, so that's why, like, there's some girls who are wearing skirts and there's some girls who are wearing shorts. Hmm. It's okay.
Oh, I thought it was the beach. About to say, like, oh. Tower. <laughs> it must be a training room or something. It's pretty. Something tells me that this room is going to be the room where we're probably going to see them maybe the most. Good. Well, that's also a secret, too. You'll probably find out in a couple minutes. Oh, she coming. He looks so cute. Yeah, that's Kyoko. Now y'all making me want to, maybe I should make hamburger, but I don't have bread. Cola and, oh, okay. Different. Yeah, because the handle before Mao probably was very distant, quiet. 
hardworking. Seriously, she's making me want to have a burger. Yeah, we should be fine. <laughs> that was so cute. Oh my god, like <laughs> even though she didn't like complete the move. It was adorable though. Like Is that a squirrel? Mm, no. But it's cute. More like a, like, vampire? Mm hmm. similar to Yui. <laughs> oh, we're getting a new song! Because this is new. So cute, I can't.
like this song so much. Oh my god. It's a little too addicting. I can imagine myself listening to it over and over again. It wouldn't really surprise me if Bloody Rock is voiced by Eureka's VA. I mean, because, okay, so from what I've heard is that there are a lot of old sayus in this show. And I'm wondering who all voices who because your girl wants to know really bad. And if um, Ichiko's voice actress is also in this, even though she's currently doing um, Promise Neverland as of right now. But you never know. Mm -hmm. just once again Kyoko is best girl like oh my god she gives me a um, little bit of like yeah of course Eureka vibes and um, what was the girl's name who was in freaking um, Dancing Diva with Samira? It's the girl. I think her name was Ray. Because I, cause I remember Momoka. Momoka is like my fourth best girl because I love her so much. But it's the girl with the white hair. If it's not Ray, I, I literally cannot remember her name. But yeah, this song was so good, even though it's the ending song. But it's a good song, and I literally hear these two singing together. Mwah, like, mm. cannot wait to see the rest of these girls singing as well, because it's going to be so freaking good. Honestly, I feel like <laughs> we're going to have an episode where all these girls who come up and who are currently doing the dance right now, they're going to be in it all together, and it's going to be so cute and animated. It's so good. I can't wait. But Kyoko... I, I love her kind of double life. It's really interesting. It kind of reminds me of like, um, with Pretty Care in a way, because the Pretty Care, you know, they're still regular teenagers, but at the same time, they have to save the world. Same thing with some superhero movies and such, but it was adorable. I love the song. I love Kyoko's freaking outfit. I mean, it's really, really amazing. Both of them were good. I mean, because I, I really, the biggest thing that I was hoping for Shiori ever since episode one, episode two, was that, number one, her character was going to finally show up. Two, that they do her at least a little bit better than Koharu, because I, I like, okay, I love Aikatsu so much. This is a show that is very near and dear to me, and I love the fact that I can sit here and talk about the positive and negatives and people either agree with me or dis um disagree with me and i am okay with that but in my opinion i feel like koharu didn't get the potential that i wanted her and a lot of us thought she was going to get especially you know when she got on to when she left um because i didn't start doing reactions on the show until i think what the final five episodes of the first half of season one going into um the Venus arc arc um so going into the Venus arc and especially when Yume and Koharu met again I was sitting here thinking okay Koharu's gonna finally you know get that like dedication that a lot of us wanted in the first half of this show she gets it but not to a point where I'm like I, I think when I finished the show I was like I, I applaud this I, but I was still applauding for it because the show's really good I just wish that she 
got to go as that same potential with Yumei and stuff. But, I mean, in the end, her and Yumei made Rainbow Parfait together and such. But I wanted Ko Yumei to kind of balance of becoming an idol if she really still wanted to and also being Yumei's designer. But because Koharu really loved designing more than becoming an idol, that's what set her apart and such. Huck, I was still, like, wanting Laura to become... A part of the new version of S4 but of course you know that didn't happen and everything and you know I mean I think if the show had got another seasons before I cut two friends did happen I think eventually when Yuzu graduated and got on to high school um Laura probably would have been a part of the newer version of S4 but really I mean they had I think they had someone else by the time the show ended but honestly really who knows anything could have happened by the end of that series but it's over. We, the only thing we can talk about is memories and certain songs. But yes, song was good. I cannot wait to see Siori's character next week. I think she's going to look really, really good and pretty. I, you know what? I don't... We're, we're going to give her the code name Cinderella right now because literally she looks so much like Cinderella. She's so freaking beautiful. She might even be my second best girl for this show. But honestly, we ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of I Cut Planet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys either... Okay, so someone told me... I, I know, of course, this the um, this show is aired on Saturday. is the same day as Pretty Care. But um, because of the fact is it's going to take a little s a longer for it, I think the subs for this show comes out between Tuesday and Wednesday. So either you guys will see me next Tuesday or next Wednesday for episode 5. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!